Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019-2020 Upper Deck OPG Platinum Hockey. Eight box, pick your team number one. Um, this also includes, so there's two different promos that we're having, that's happening here. Um, two wax party spots being given away. Chance to win some really cool boxes. Details on jazbeescasebreaks.com and you got a shot at winning um, a free box. Yeah, if you bought at least two or more teams. There you go. And this is popping out of a fresh master case. It says 2019-2020 OPG Platinum, so I'm trusting that this that the person who marked it was correct. All right, we're gonna select a die, and we're going to select that die right there. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Six, we're gonna do the right side here, and this will save for next time. And uh, <clears throat> as most of you know, I don't, I'm not too familiar with the hockey, so if we pull a nice hit, people in the chat, you're going to have to let me know if it was a good hit or not. Did I show you the team list? I don't know if I did. There's the team list right there. On Sunday the 16th, pick your team number one, OPG Platinum Hockey. Eight boxes. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Martin with that double last spot mojo right there as well. Got the last two teams. Got Brock Nelson. Violet Pixels to 399 For the Islanders, that'll be for David B. We got a Zach McEwen, 88 out of 149 for Vancouver. That'll be for Steve Wright. All 
I guess Capo Caco was one of the bigger names of this year, I want to say. There's Quinn Hughes. I think he's a big name, too. The Hugheses, Hughes brothers. 326 out of 399. Marquee rookie for Vancouver. That'll be for Steve Wright. All right, so I know, I know some big names, some of the bigger names. Kale Fleury, Sunset. And a Jacob Truba. Seismic Gold, 14 out of 50. For the Rangers, Kevin M. David Pasternak. Matt Pink. Not numbered. And the autograph is for Carolina, Ryan Zingle. That'll be for Nico and the Hurricanes. And here's marquee rookies Jack Hughes for New Jersey. That'll be for Mike Tower. And here's Quinn Hughes. Marquee rookies for Vancouver. That'll be for Steve Wright. Next box. Tyler Seguin, Matt Pink. And we got Teddy Bluger revealing a Teddy Bluger. Penguins, that's going to be for Mike Tower in Pittsburgh.
We got an Alex two ninety eight out of one ninety nine. Yeah, Thomas Cabot, 107 out of 399 for Ottawa. I'll go to Matt. And we got a Noah Dobson, marquee rookies. For Kevin and the Rangers, this time in a red prism design, 139 out of 199. Connor McDavid for Edmonton, Eric with that one. All right, next box. David B., what about the Islanders? Yes, you have the Islanders. That should be a fun matchup. Kansas City Chiefs facing the Bills. I think I'm, I think I'm leaning Buffalo Bills. I feel like it's their time. Caesars has a uh, like corner on uh, Sports Center. Scott Van Pelt showed the uh, current odds right now. Caesars has has uh, the Chiefs minus two. That's pretty much a pick 'em right there. Kale McCarr is one of the big marquee rookie names. Colorado, that'll be for Steve Wright. And we got a Nico Niederreiter, 23 out of 50, seismic gold. Sidney Crosby, Matt Pink. Sidney Crosby goes to Pittsburgh, Mike Tower, and the Nico goes to Carolina. That'll be also Nico, Carolina Hurricanes. And the rookie auto is Dylan Sakura, Chicago. It's going to go to Rick and the Blackhawks.
And there's Capo Capo. I think he was a big name when this came out. Is, I don't know if he's still a big name or not, but still go to the Rangers, Kevin. Got a Connor McDavid right here too for Edmonton. Eric with the Oilers. He's numbered. This one's numbered. Yeah, 60 out of 99 Arctic Freeze for the Flyers. That'll be for Nicholas in Philadelphia. David is asking, what do the so what do the Raiders need next season? A lot more than than you would think, and they got to figure out what to do with Mike Mayock. Do they get a new GM? They probably, I think they probably should. New GM definitely means new coach. I don't, I like what interim coach Rich Basaccia has done, but you know if if the likes of a Jim Harbaugh is out there, Michigan coach still out there, then I guess you got to go with that. Then you got to figure out whether you're going to keep Derek Carr or not, who's in the last year, going into the last year of his his uh, current deal, traditionally a point at which quarterbacks like him would like to think there's some extension in the works. There's a blue rainbow to 149. And then I think they just need just new pieces. Not, not, a, not a lot, but I think they just need some, some little upgrades at almost everywhere. You know, maybe a better, better second running back. There's Bo Hor Horvat for the Canucks. Maybe a second running back to run behind Josh Jacobs, which was supposed to be Kenyon Drake. You know, then they need, you know, Zay Jones, Deshaun Jackson, admirable. There's Tara Haros for Detroit. That'll be for Mike Tower. We're admirable, but they need, like, a, a wide receiver that can stretch the field. Compliment Hunter Renfro. Then they need to work on that offensive line. Whether the youngsters just naturally improve, which I would assume, but, but they were counting on maybe two or three offensive linemen you know, that were on the older side, but ended up getting injured, weren't able to help them. You know, and, you, and then I think the, the Raiders' front seven is actually pretty pretty decent. I mean, there, you can always add to, some, add to that core, but there's Emil Benstrom for Columbus. But then you really got to work on just the secondary. And maybe that's just uh, just another season of seasoning for the youngsters, but you know maybe if if they're able to add some pieces there.
Right, yeah, guys like Incognito were out all year. Ah, Mark saying, Mark Delara saying, Michigan just hired a big-name offensive coordinator. You're, so you're thinking that's the signal that Harbaugh will stay in Michigan. Interesting. Yeah, they also need a season without off-field off headlines. I think, yeah, I think whatever additional pieces they get or whatever kind of front office they get, you know, I think they want they want something a little more consistent. So I think if the Raiders can just do what they normally do, you know, I think I think another another uh, round of free agency or two, another year or two of free agency, if they can put together a couple of good drafts. Remember, a lot of their draft picks have been have not been good. Some argue that's some argue that was mostly, you know, John Gruden's poor poor selections. I mean, I'm sure, but I feel like they have to just have like a a good draft where their first round picks can are there and are effective. I think the Raiders have missed like three or four years of like solid first round play. You know, so yeah, there's there's still a lot of a lot of things that the there's some thankfully there's some good core pieces there, but there are a lot of decisions that have to be made. You know, what happens if you know what happens if Jim Harbaugh is available? Do you take that? If not, then who? At that point, maybe you stick with the interim coach. What do you do with Derek Carr? Do you extend him? How many years? Two years? Five years? What if? Now what do you do if like Russell Wilson or, or Aaron Rodgers maybe could be available? Maybe you jump on that. Maybe Aaron Rodgers brings Devontae Adams to Vegas. I don't know. I think there's a lot of a lot of things that can happen. But this offseason, I think, especially off the heels of what the Raiders were accomplished this year, I think this offseason really needs to be a good one. Ooh, nice Tyler. You got a Jack Hughes auto out of a box that you won from us? Nice. All right, next box. Speaking of Jack Hughes, there's a rookie silver right here for New Jersey. That'll go to, go to Mike. And we got a Alexi Sorella, 10 out of 50 seismic gold. That'll be for Chicago, Rick Thomas. Resigning cars should be a priority, but dude needs to take a discount. Yeah, I think that's probably true. Here's Kale McCarr for Colorado. See you right. And rookie out of Vitelli Abramov for Ottawa. That's going to go to Matt. Which is why I think if the Raiders can kind of get you know, maybe their GM spot and their their head coach spot taken care of early. And if it's if that's a good duo, then maybe that duo can convince Derek Carr, hey, we we want to extend you, we want you here, but maybe maybe you got to work with us, take a pay cut, so. Uh, you know, so we can we can get some more pieces around you, you know. There's Blue Rainbow 102 out of 149, Alexander Barkov. And that's the plan here. Yeah. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but that, that would be the hope and plan. Tyler wants Rodgers and Adams to stay, to stay in Green Bay. I, I just don't know if that's going to... I mean, maybe he will, but all signs seem to have pointed to him with a foot out the door. And there's Jeff Carter to 399. For my kings, that's going to go to Nicholas. Um, 
Brian B or David B was saying Brian F. Brian Flores was quick to be fired. Uh, yeah, we had a Dolphins fan check in earlier today, David, and and he was saying the same thing. He was just like, he was just like the ownership just I don't know had a knee jerk reaction and I don't know maybe it was ego maybe he just didn't like the way the direct I don't know what are differences of opinion and strategy something like that all the usual BS but. But yeah, I, th I think that might have been a mistake. I feel like within the first few days of of um, Brian Flores being fired, I feel like there were reports of him being contacted by teams already for like head coaching jobs. So that's a good indication that he may have, may have let a coach go a little too early. Yeah, the Raiders' offensive line has to be fixed. They 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 kind of they let a couple guys go. They let a couple guys walk in free agency, and they were they counted on some old guys like Richie Incognito to, to, to and they were hoping that they can get a full season out of him at his age. So they took a gamble on that. It didn't work out. So yeah, I mean I know it took. I know people were saying the that one offensive lineman from UCLA, Colton Miller. They said they took him way too high, but he ended up getting a second contract with the Raiders. He turned out to be really solid. Hopefully the same thing will happen with Leatherwood. I think, I think maybe the Raiders staff are thinking that 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 Leatherwood would be supported by some of the veteran guys that are on like Incognito, or I think they were hoping that that there would be other players that that would be that he'd be able to kind of slowly make his way into the offensive line, not not take the majority of the snaps right away. But. Yeah, they got to improve that, whether through, probably through free agency, just get some vet pieces there as well. There's David Gustafsson for Winnipeg. That's going to go to Nico. Thirty out of fifty, red prism. Yeah, I think Joey Bosa was ruled, well, he was ruled out of the game with a concussion. So it depends on concussion protocol, how quickly he's going to be able to get back. So there's a good chance he might be, I don't know, 50-50 probably. There's Vladimir Tarasenko, 54 out of 199. Right, quite, yeah, quote unquote, only a concussion, but yeah. All right, there's Semyon Varlamov for the Islanders, David B., Matt Pink. And there's Jack Hughes now in New Jersey. That'll be for Mike Tower. Right, yeah, Stephen Flat's like, hey, I feel like you can clear concussion protocol in less than a week. If not days. Yeah, that's what it seems like. So I guess it just really depends on how serious the Bosa concussion was. There's Getzlav for Nico and Anaheim. Morgan Riley to 199. David B thinking Bosa will be will be geared up. He's ready to go. Since he couldn't finish the game, he just doesn't have faith in Jimmy G. Yeah.
Jimmy was mentioning earlier that Green Bay wasn't ready for Rodgers when Favre was at the end either. So maybe there's a case for Jordan Love. Yeah, Steven, it doesn't, doesn't seem like anyone misses games now for, for concussions, right? They'll, they'll get them out of protocol pretty quickly. Minus the interception, Mark Delara saying, Jimmy, Jimmy G played great today. Can he keep up? Can Jimmy G keep up a consistent enough performance to, uh, you know, against a team like the Packers, Buccaneers? All right, second to last box. And a redemption. Anders Lee, blue to one forty nine. Joel Faraby, Marquee Rookie, Matt Pink for Nicholas and the Flyers. Bren Gallagher, Orange Slice, Orange Checkers, 5 out of 25. That's from Montreal, that'll go to Martin. Yes for Boquist to three ninety nine. And the redemption is gonna be Nick Suzuki, who I think is a Montreal Canadian in this set. Yeah, he is a Montreal. He was he draft. He was drafted by the Golden Knights, but I didn't realize he was drafted by the Golden Knights. But yeah, anyway, he's in Montreal now, and that'll be for Martin. Did I check? I did check in with Jason today. He, yeah, I think he's disappointed. Listen, I, I, I think, I think it was going to be a hard road. I think they realized that it's going to be a hard road for the Eagles to, to beat the Buccaneers. I think he had, he had a little. I think he was happy. What helped was the the Cowboys losing. I think definitely helped him. Helped him feel a little bit better.
All right, final box. And we've got Joe Pavelski, Emerald Surge, 3 out of 10. Nice little number there for Nico and Dallas. A little color match there with the jerseys. I like when those colors match up. Alex Cat, Matt Pink. And a rookie auto, Alexander Volkov. For Tampa Bay, that'll be for Nico. Brent Burns, Red Prism to one ninety nine. Capo Caco for the Rangers, that'll be for Kevin. Connor McDavid for Edmonton, that'll be for Eric J. And that, my friends, is that. Let's do a quick recap here. So that was 2019-2020 Upper Deco Peachy Platinum Hockey 8-box. Pick your team number one. All right, let's do some giveaways. Oh, my back's killing me here. All right, so let's flip back to this screen right here. So we'll do, we'll have two dice rolls. First one will be for the people, uh, we'll, well, we'll do this one second, but we'll have one list for all the names. That's for the uh, the promo spot. And then if you bought at least two teams, you got a shot at a box of this stuff. Well, it's alphabetized by your first name. David B got two, that's an entry. Martin got two, that's an entry. Mike Tower got four, that's two entries. Nicholas got two, that's an entry. Nico got a bunch of teams. Nico got 13 teams for the purpose of the promo. Six, uh, 12 count, so that's still six in the promo. And Steve Wright got two teams, that's an entry. All right, so we got David, not Eric, not Karen, not Kevin. Yes, Martin, no Matt, no Michael. Yes, Mike Tower. Nick, Nico, and Steve Wright. All right. All right, let's roll it, randomize it, five and a six, 11 times for each list. This is for the uh, for the box. We'll send, ship that to you sealed. One, two, three. And 11th and final time, name on top, David B. There you go, extra box, uh, going your a sealed box going your way. I don't know if I don't know if you have any loose box laying around. Are we opening up that second inner case? I don't know. I'll find one. We'll ship one to you sealed. Uh, if you choose to open it, let us know if you get anything good out of there. Five and a six, 11 times for the promo. Top two after 11, two, three, four. Nine, ten, and eleventh and final time. Top two after eleven. You're in the wax party promo. You can win some wax, some boxes. I'm not sure if hockey's on that list, but it could be. You can check the full details on jazpiescasebreaks.com. Nico, very close. No cigar, unless you're in in one of the top two spots. But thanks everybody for giving this a go. Appreciate it. 
Congrats to Nicholas and Nico. You're okay, Nico. You're in. So congrats to Nico and Nicholas. You're in the wax party promo. We we're gonna you're gonna get some wax at some point when we fill up all those breaks and uh, and we make that happen. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye bye.